Was that the plan going in that if it was slow you'd um, go to the front? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't exactly sure when um, to go, but I mean, I was feeling good and I figured I'd work my way up and if they counteracted it, then just sitting behind them. But um, yeah, nobody really seemed to want to play along, which is unfortunate. But uh, no, it was too fun. I mean, I knew coming into that last K that I'd have to close in under like 225 for one to be a chance. But um, best thing over the legs, that last 400, 300 metres. Um, and then just blew up in the straight. But, you know, uh, this championship has been a big learning experience for me. Definitely not three of my best races, but, um, you know, it's, it's something to work on and next championship I'll be ready. I guess um, you could have hung back with them and gone for sort of an honourable top ten. Yeah. Um, why didn't you want to do that? I mean, <laughs> as, like, as unrealistic as it might seem, you come into these championships trying to win. Um, I don't think there's any other point coming here. If you're not giving it your best shot and trying to trying to win races, how are you going to be able to do it? Um, and you got to fail a few times to get there, but you know, um, I'm really I'm really proud of the way that I was able to rebound after that 10k and just have a um, yeah fairly decent championship. Were you confident that you would be able to bounce back after the 10k and well this one? No, um, I wasn't really sure how I'd go, um, but at the end of the day, like people are asking you how you feel and all that sort of stuff and it doesn't really matter like just because you say you're feeling good doesn't mean you're going to get out there and feel good you know you just got to accept what it is and go out there and give it give it the best shot you had and on um when was it wednesday i mean that was good enough to get me through so uh this race was more i wasn't really 100 percent expecting to be here but um got in and gave it a good track and that's all anyone can ask of me is it intimidating leading those guys with like you know a k to go or so world championship final no, I mean, I think it helps them tall, Adam. Um, so that's the <laughs> one intimidation factor down. But no, it's, um, I mean, it is. Like, in my head, I'm always thinking, like, when are they coming? When are they coming? Um, and guys like that are so good. They've done this for years and they were just so patient about it. And like you saw, they waited until second last lap um, to catch up to me. And um, props to them. They're all very experienced and uh, very good athletes. Big props to Justin Knight. He's, First championship, um, and he's from college. He's a real talent, and I hope he does well. So he's upcoming year. Yeah, first professional season. What, what would you give yourself for a grade? Um, probably, probably B. Um, I mean, I had great races leading up to it, but at the end of the day, I couldn't put my money where my mouth was when, the, when it um, came time to the big championship. So, yeah, still a lot of improving to be done, but definitely a big step up from last year. Big step up from Rio. Um, and yeah, I'm just really looking forward to what the, what the future holds. What will you take out of this for next year then? Um, for one thing I'll take that we uh, got to work on that 10k. Um, <laughs> but no, I mean, I just need to get a lot stronger and a lot more confident in my, in my closing laps. Um, I don't know whether that's more speed work or more just like longer, quicker stuff or what it is. But, you know, we've got... I mean, Com Games are in April, but until these next World Championships, um, we've got two years to get it right. So I'm confident we'll do a good job. Patrick, did uh, Sally win in the race just before you? Was that an inspiration to you? It was great. Um, we actually got to saw it just before we walked behind here. Yeah, so yeah. that was huge. Um, that very proud of. Like a shot of the drone? Yeah, I mean, I got a, got a little excited when she did it, but um, no, that's a huge effort for her. I'm so proud of her. Um, I know it's been a rough last three or four years, and. For her to bounce back like that is um, a huge inspiration to me and you know if she can do something like that then I'm sure I can make a small step for me, a big step for me to get there. And you back coaching at Villanova is that correct? Um, technically a volunteer coach. Um, yeah, I'm not really doing any coaching, just more so helping out where I can. Um, any advice or... Uh,